Welcome back! We are 10 Slides is here, and today I am going to teach you on how we could create this simple tropical vibe PowerPoint presentation featuring the Palawan Island here in the Philippines. If you are new here to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe. So, let's get started! Alright, so before anything else, we will first obtain our photo for our PowerPoint presentation. And since we are featuring the beautiful island of Palawan, we are here in unsplash.com and we will be using this photo right over here. And of course, we will insert the citation later on on our presentation. So in order for you to obtain this, please do not right click on it and select copy and then paste it on your presentation don't do that but rather you go here and on the green section and click the arrow down it says download free and select the original size so that um, there will be no reduction with regard to the quality of the photo so we will insert the photo that we have downloaded from unsplash.com and yep there you go and as you can see, if we will zoom it in again, see the quality of the photo compared to what we have seen earlier. So that's the reason why I've suggested to download the photo directly from Unsplash and just copy and paste it. Alright, so that we could retain the quality of the photo. And the next thing that we need to do here is to go to picture format and select crop. And then select this arrow down right over here and hit aspect ratio and select the 16 by 9 ratio there you go and um if you would like to let's crop it a little bit like that or move it downward it's your choice and then i would like to rotate um this photo on this kind of position there you go and then Let's just enlarge the photo and fit the whole photo on our presentation slide. There you have it. So the next thing that we need to do here is to enlarge this photo very, very, very large. Just like that. Alright, so after that, we will duplicate this slide by selecting Ctrl D. And on our second slide we will bring it back on its original um position or original size and we will crop it again so go to picture format and hit crop and we will enlarge the photo a little bit just like that and then let's say move it right over here there you go probably I would like to flip the photo just like that and then crop it again so we could emphasize the water portion of this um, photo and then another one crop it again so let's first focus on this side on the next um, the next thing that we need to do is to duplicate this slide again selecting ctrl D and then we have we need to crop it again move it aside right over here there you go the next thing that we need to do is to create a glass effect for the second and third slide so let's first go to our second slide and here what we need to do is to right click on the photo and select format picture go to artistic effects and select the blur there you go, and increase the radius of the blur effect to, let's say, 68. And you should have this kind of photo effect on your presentation slide. So the next thing that you need to do is just copy, and then go again in artistic effect and reduce the radius blurred effect of it down to zero. There you go, and then move this photo aside and right click on the white background on your slide and select format background and in here go to picture or texture fill and select clipboard there you go so now you have your 
background photo on your slide and on the top of that is your original photo there you go so you should have that so for the third slide same thing again we will do the same thing go to um format picture and under artistic effects we will um, be using the blur effect and then increase the radius effect to 68 and there you go and then we will copy that again and then reduce the radius effect down to zero again and then move this photo aside then go to format background and select picture or texture fill and hit clipboard there you go and then just put it back again so go to insert and go to shapes and select this rounded um, rectangle and after that remove the shape outline and then right click on the shape and select format shape and then the next thing that you need to do is to select the slide background fill under the fill section and there you go now you have the glass effect so we will go to shape effects and select shadow and we will use um, let's say we'll be using this offset bottom left shadow right click again go to format shape and then we will go here under the effects and go to the shadow so ready we will be just um adjusting the shadow of it and yeah there you have it you have your glass effect on your powerpoint presentation we will just do the same thing here on the third slide but we'll just um copy and paste it right over here there you go the thing here is that here on the second slide we will just move this glass effect right over here because we will use that later on for our morph transition effect and we will just um, let this glass effect stay here on its position on the third slide all right so the next thing that we need to do is to add some text and then after that um, we will duplicate this text copy and paste and put it on the top of it go to shape format select the text outline and select the color white and go to text fill and we will remove the the fill of the text rather and let's just increase the width of the text outline let's say probably two and a half no two point twenty five there you go now we'll just duplicate this put it right over here at the bottom part and you should have this kind of look on your second slide and after that we will just copy all of these three texts and paste it here on our first slide so the thing here is that we will put these two texts these two outline texts on the top of this um our main text right over here and put it right over here as well there you go and you should have this kind of look on your first slide and you should have this kind of look on the second slide so if you are wondering why am i um doing this so let's try to um, play the mark transition well you will have that right? so if you are curious why we are doing this so we will play the mark transition for you to see it but before that since um the layout of the photo on the second slide is different from the position or the alignment here in the first slide we will just flip this um, photo here in the first slide and let's see let's go to transition and select morph there you go we will have that kind of look but we will enhance our presentation more later on all right so the next thing that we need to do is to let's say put some text right over here as well so we will design this first um let's say go to insert or probably let's just copy this copy this text and paste it right over here and then after that go to shape format and select text effects and let's use some of the warp um design right over here probably this wave up all right so let's just reduce the size of this text right over here and 
um, let's make it color block. Go to shape format and set text field and select color block. And after that, we will duplicate it. Let's say color white. Change the color to white. And if you would like to change the color of it with some gradient colors, so let's right click on it. This one, like right click on the text and select format shape. Then go to text options and select region fill and um, change the color into let's say green then dark green at the bottom of it there you go or probably let's use the um color yellow and it's all up to you if you would like to have like different color it's all up to you you could customize this powerpoint presentation later on and yeah you could download this template on the description box below later on so we will just group these two text, select the black text at the bottom of this, hold shift and select this text on the upper part and hit control G. There you go. Alright, so we've just added some text right over here. So alright, let's change the font of this text right over here, probably impact. And let's use the italic style of our text. There you go. There you go. I think this looks perfectly fine. So now we will add some icons or let's say some information first here and then we will add some icons. There you go. So the next thing that we need to do is to add some icons um, right over here. So we'll go to insert, select icons. And if your Microsoft PowerPoint doesn't have um, like the stock icons, on your software, just download some icons on the internet that is free. So I'll be using the search icon and also I'll be using the menu icon, the menu button. Okay. And then after that, we'll just position it right over here, the side. But after that, go to insert shapes and select this rounded rectangle. And then reduce the corner of it, put it right over here, make it smaller, right over there. And remove the shape outline and change the color of the rounded rectangle to white. And then send it backward. And then just reposition everything else just like this. And then also try to add some shadows on the search bar I can also in this menu add some shadow there you go and just group all of these by selecting control d control g and there you have it so we'll just copy all of this information we'll just copy this information text copy and paste it right over here in the second slide and then move them um, right over here on this side there you go so you will like just change the arrangement just like that and then move this text further for the more transition effect later on and this one as well so let's see so in the third slide we should have second transition we should have this absolutely perfect but this is just like D this is just like a simple structure and we will add um, 3D element later on but yeah if you've learned something from my channel please do not forget to subscribe and like this video also comment down what are your thoughts about this tutorial and probably on how we could improve our tutorial more in the future all right so moving on to the next one we'll be adding some 3d elements right over here on our powerpoint presentation 